Welcome everyone to SOM Revolution. EC Dangerously here with Prince Malik, and we are on the road to the 10th anniversary Paul Morton Cup. Malik, are you as excited as I am? Well, of course I am, and I know they are too. I mean, I don't know if we're going to hear each other tonight, but we'll try. That's right, we're going to do the, our best on this road to the Paul Morton Cup, but tonight on Revolution, Sean Cruz makes his return to SOM. Also, we will hear from Mr. Everything, Vic Andrews, and we will hear from the god of the Milky Way galaxy, Amp Dominic. Jackson Black's on 24 karat gold with Evan Golden, and in tonight's main event, Santiago defends the hybrid championship against sleazy Sean Carson. We could have a new champion leaving here tonight. I know you're ready. I'm ready. Let's kick it up to the ring. Malik, we are oh. ready for some revolution action here at SOM as we've got Ryan Mantis making his way to the ring. What an opening here at SOM. Like you said, we're on the road to the Paul Morton Cup, and what a rocky road it's going to be for some folks. That's right. We, know, we never know who's going to show up at the Paul Morton Cup. Ryan Mantis could be there, and his opponent tonight, Hunter Wolf, could be what? there. What? That's it. That's it. Oh my God! All seven foot five. Oh, oh my gosh! That's right. We are Ooh. awaiting the big man right now. He's not been happy since he's uh, lost the title here. You know that. That is right. Of course, Amp Dominic being the reason Hunter Wolf is without gold, but not completely without gold, as I have on good word tonight that Hunter Wolf has brought his USPA championship medal with him, and there it is. That is right. And that is right, folks. You're looking at the Tennessee champion right there, powerlifting champion. Just got that this weekend. That's right. Strongest man in the state. That is undeniable. Over 600 pounds on his deadlift. Easy like nothing. That's right. This monster of a man, seeing him in person is a sight to behold. Let's throw it up to my Uncle Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. In this corner, hailing from Midgard, the Rogue Heathen, Ryan Mantis! And in this corner, hailing from Maryville, Tennessee, the Alpha Male, Hunter Wolf! We are gearing up for our first Revolution contest here. Ryan Mantis taking on Hunter Wolf. Referee Joe going to call the action right down the middle, I'm sure. As always, that's right. He is our head official here at SOM with good reason. Head official, but he is dwarfed by the yeah, size of these two men. There's the bell. And Joe is six foot tall. I mean, so that says something about our competitors right now. That's right. The best in the world come here. Ryan Mantis, Hunter Wolfs, sizing each other up here is, ooh, Mantis teasing, going for the legs there. That's the thing, if you can chop that big tree trunk of a man down, keep him down, just takes three seconds to get the win. It does, and, it, and you can obviously tell this is an opponent that, I mean, Mantis has not been 
with a competitor like this in the ring. I mean, he's basically in there with a Nephilim. I mean, <laughs> 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 it was, uh, we'll just put it the way it is. That's right. Look at this. And Hunter Wolf wanting to do the test of strength, usually done above your head, but Wolf just needs to hold his arm straight out. Here we go. A test of strength between these two Goliaths. Ryan Mantis giving it his all. Wow. Maybe giving some competition to Hunter Wolf, but Wolf is not phased, of course. Like I said, strongest man in the state. Well, here's the thing, though. I, I love powerlifting, and it's a great sport. I love everything about it, but those weights do not fight you back. That's right. And right now, Hunter Wolf twisting on the wrists of Ryan Mantis. Mantis down to one knee. Oh, what oh, a boot. Big the boot sends Ryan Mantis right to the ground, stumbling into the corner. And he has not forgot about Amp Dominic. That's I, I know that Amp is down in Bear County right now in San Antonio, my old stomping grounds, down there with Rudy Gonzalez, learning some new moves in Texas. That's right, but right now in the ring, moves a couple fists right to the jaw, and a big throw across the ring, threw him all the way the length. He threw him like a sack of potatoes. That is a grown damn man. He just threw like that. That's right, Ryan Mantis is no small man, but a big boot right to the jaw and neck of Mantis is giving Wolf the upper hand. Now we're seeing the scary methodical part of Hunter Wolf. He's just really kind of dissecting him now. Double right. axe. Oh, geez. That's right, double axe to the shoulder. And now that big monstrous hand Oh, and a clubbing blow right to the chest of Ryan Mantis sends Mantis down. Now, we've never seen a, a match in like that, but that could be, that's like an Ox Baker, like a, like a heart punch almost. That's right. You can tell it knocked the wind out of Ryan Mantis. You can't breathe, can't fight. This, of course, handful of hair. Oh, close fist right to the skull of Ryan Mantis. Mantis with that Dunkin' Donuts look, his eyes are glazed over. Now punch the midsection, hoping to back Hunter Wolf off. Not doing too much, and another double axe across the shoulder blade. Now this is what Hunter is used to. He's used to being in control. He is an alpha male. Oh my God, power oh, slam! Geez. I could feel the room shake with that power slam there. He almost put him through the ceiling. That's right. And now pinning him with the foot, that's two, and a kick out by Ryan Mantis. The crowd here firmly on the side of Mantis has now back to the shoulder, big claws. Now that pinfall there by Hunter Wolf is considered the most disrespectful pin and move in wrestling. That's right, putting a foot across the chest, no respect to cover the shoulders as Mantis elbows now. Punches to the midsection, and Wolf with a headbutt stalls the momentum from Ryan Mantis. Another headbutt, Mantis still on his feet, but into the corner. Hunter Wolf, of course, not in a good mood, thanks to Amp Dominic. And now Storman, oh, a back elbow, stops Hunter Wolf. A little possum there. Second rope, drop kick. Well, he's going to have to pull it all out, and he is. That's right, but that worked. Hunter was down to his knees for just a second, back to his feet, charges him into the corner, and now clubbing blows to the back of the head. Referee Joe doing his job. He's got a five count to get out of those ropes. And now got Wolf. Wolf shoves Mantis off back into the corner. Grabs Mantis again, shoving him, just playing pinball with him at he this is. point. Corner Knee. to corner, post to post. What is this looking for? A pump handle slam! Big! Drives Mantis to the ground as the straps come down. Oh no. This could be the sign of the end here. Stomping on the chest, arms, shoulders, anything that big foot will come across on Ryan Mantis. And now, right across the throat, Mantis's face turning red as he gasps for air. Referee Joe doing his job there. We don't see him take the straps down very often, so this is a serious time now. That's right, of course. Judas recently committed Hunter Wolf trying to get power of attorney of Judas, so that's on his mind as well. But right now, Hunter Wolf channeling all his aggression into the back of the neck and the throat of Ryan Mantis. 
And this is just the start tonight. I mean, this is just the opening match tonight. We got so much going on. That's right, and you have to think that a big win here could mean great momentum going into the Paul Morton Cup. Mantis now just being toyed with. It's like Hunter Wolf's playing with his food. Now, wait a minute. Look at that, just disrespectful foot to the back, shoving him to the ground, not letting him back to his feet. Ryan Mantis with a shot to the midsection there. Wolf backing up, oh, and a big kick. Backs Wolf out, but it just seems like it's pissing Hunter off. Yeah, I think so too, and he just keeps calling him out. Oh, and storms the corner. Mantis moved up on his shoulders, the big man, no. Oh, that's it, big that's move. it, that's it, folks. That's you can done. count to 20. Hunter Wolf takes the win here to kick off Ladies Revolution. Here is your winner, the Alpha Male, Hunter Wolf. If anything, he sent a message to the whole SOM universe that right. the giant is back. That's right, the giant is back. He is the strongest man in the state. And if I was in Texas and I was Amp Dominic, I'd keep my eye out for when I come back to SOM. Well, well he's got the Alamo. Speaking, speaking of the Alamo, what's, you're, you don't envy Bob right now, do you? Oh, no. Let's hear what he's got to say. To the school of Morton, where have you been? As you can tell, I've been training. No, you know. do. Shut up! I've been training outside of wrestling. I am now the strongest man in the state of Tennessee. Thank you very much. But speaking from one goal to another, where's Amp? Where? San Antonio. Why is the East Tennessee champion? in San Antonio, Texas. I don't know. Seriously, you give me this crap out here and you expect me not to want a rematch? Amp, if you had a set of balls, you'd be here facing me right now. But here I am, and where are you? San Antonio. Man, I ain't got time for this. I'm tired of being screwed every time I want a title. And now I have to deal with Judas. I'm getting an attorney to get you out of that asylum, Judas. Cause this is bull crap. I'm tired of Ricky Morton. I'm tired of all the people back there screwing me out of the Agoji series, out of the East Tennessee title, out of the SOM title. You know what? Fine. If no one wants Hunter to win, then nobody wins. Folks, last time we heard, if nobody wins, or if Hunter doesn't win, nobody wins. Nobody won. Back to you guys at the desk. I in no way envy Uncle Bob there, but I definitely do not envy Amp Dominic when he comes back to Tennessee. What do you think, Malik? Well, he's safe, like we said, in Bear County right now down in San Antonio, rallying the troops up around the Alamo with the indigenous people of San Antonio, too. That's right. Amp Dominic has to come back to SOM soon, but don't go anywhere. We've got more. Revolution coming to you. Welcome, all you weary souls and wanderers. Welcome to this brand new segment where he, the Almighty, can rest and give you guidance and where your guiding light can shine upon you all. My name is Brother Michael Gabriel, and tonight I'll be sharing with you from the most honorable, the most esteemed, the most gracious book of Gabriel. It all started back when Jebediah and Hezekiah ran their mouths. They flew their little Betsy the chicken in here and where our story just began. So tonight, the book of Golden, chapter 12, verses 13 through 18, will be read and will be open to all you weary souls and wanderers. As it is, as it is explained, verse 15 says, He who sat explained, and ye who look not of the excellent design, fear not, for even the ugly have a place in the heights. Ha! 
of Zion, be it in the dish pit of Shoney's, or under thine felt hood of a higher learning institutional mascot, or as the parental guardians of lesser beings such as Fowl. You have a place here. It is your place of destiny. For even the easy on the ears, yet hard on the eyes, shall be accepted by the golden child and I and his master. Now, y'all, my friends, Evan Golden, he sits with glamour. KC Kazana, he sits with brute strength and guidance. And even people who, let's just be real, they're ugly, like referee Joe. Ugh. They have a place here, just like you do. And so I say this to you, you may enter if you get the opportunity and let the, the heights of Zion and the guiding light shine upon you today. And here comes the man with probably the biggest mouth, Evan Golden. And he's a he's got his new title too, the, the paper. You think I was gonna start 24 karat gold without my best friend ever, Michael Gabriel? Give him a round of applause! This man is a saint, and I'm so happy to have him by my side for 24 karat gold, Michael Gabriel. You are the East Tennessee Tag Team Champion, one of the most prestigious tag titles in the state, let alone the country, hell, the world. So one more round of applause for Michael Gabriel, and maybe, just maybe, we'll start the show. Hey, what? Don't you boo him. What? Just don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. They're weak-minded. Come on over, come on over. Now, here's the thing. We have a very special guest. Michael Gabriel, did you put this pillow here? It's got... I was trying to... It's got to be on display. Hold on. I was honoring your bottom. That's what friends do. That's what real friends do. I'm like, all right. I take care of every part of this I love you, buddy. And right now, we have a very special guest. I am honored to bring out none other than someone we've not seen in a very long time. And his name is Jackson Black. Give him a round of applause. It, it, it is fantastic to have you here. It's I'm doing great, man. I'm fantastic. Look, look, Jackson, please have a seat. This is reserved for you and you only, pal. Now, first of all, Jackson, before we get into the questions, uh, you know, this is a special custom cushion chair just for you. And I want you to feel at home here at 24 Karat Gold. And first of all, before we get into the questions, will you weak-minded Chucky morons keep your mouth shut while I'm talking? I will not be interrupted. Do you understand? Your brain is a dehydrated BB, and I don't care what you have to say. So shut up! Jackson, I'm... Jackson, I'm sorry. I lost my temper. I lost my temper. I, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable around here. Thanks, Michael. Look, I, I, look. The bottom line is, I love you guys, and I want this to be a good segment. And, and I want to get down to the meat of the matter. You know, Jackson, you've been gone for a long time, okay? And it's been a while since we've seen you here on SOM Live. And my questions are very simple. I'm going to give you the softballs. Where have you been? What have you been up to? So, uh, how are we doing, everybody? How are you doing tonight? Today? This afternoon? Uh, so, Evan, I have been... This is on, right? You can hear me? Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Are you Austining me right now? 
Don't you stay what at him! Let him speak! What is wrong with these people, Michael Gabriel? I know exactly what's wrong. I know exactly what's wrong with these people. Everybody that has to clear their search history for their wife, say... Oh, say they're all a bunch of perverts. That's right. Sorry to interrupt your show. It's okay. You people make me sick. I expect you to be quiet. This man is one of the most tenured talents. Show him some respect. Okay, anyways, the, the meat and potatoes of what I was going to say is I have been going state to state. Okay. I've been going state to state. Can you please stop bossing me, please? I respect. Just, just, just calm down. So I've been going state to state, promotion to promotion. I've been honing the craft that is professional wrestling. And I've been far away from SOM for a while, but I am back now. And thank you for having me on your show. You're welcome, Jackson. Look, I'm happy to have you here. And I know things have been getting off to a rocky start thanks to these idiots. And I just want you to know right now, you are my friend. You've always been my friend. We've always had each other's backs. The fact of the matter is this. You've been gone for a while. I know you've been honing your craft. I know you've been training. I know you've been making yourself better, maybe even better than the golden child, Evan Golden. But I know that's a stretch, huh? You know what? I, I, I am being nice. I'm being too nice, aren't I? I'm being too nice. You know what, Jackson? I, I, I have been a little too friendly about this. Uh, I, I, I never thought I would tell you this, but you have been coming off lately a little weak. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, he's, he's weak, you know? Did you just call me weak, Evan Golden? As I've, as I've been watching, because I've been watching you guys, and you and your little Golden Girls, you got, you got Peter Gabriel and uh, Casey White Lightning McQueen and the Bronze Child Evan Golden. <laughs> Did you just call me the Bronze Child Evan Golden? You come on my show and call me the Bronze Child? What? <laughs> Stupid. You have a lot of nerve, Jackson Black, especially since you come out here with your weak arms and your weak legs. You have no friends. I've got the best friends in the world. And who do you have, Jackson Black? You've got nobody. Listen, Jackson Black doesn't need anybody. He doesn't need a goofy jork from the heights of Zion. He doesn't need an AJ Kazana ripoff. And he doesn't need a second, third generation, no talent, blonde idiot to tell him what to do. And, and, and Evan, we were friends for a while, but you have seemed to got a little bit of an ego. An ego. Let me show you what an ego looks like, Jackson Black. Let me show you what a bad, overinflated head ego looks like. And a oh! Big shot sends Evan Golden flying back into the corner. Jackson Black setting him up, runs across the ring, and a basement drop kick to the jaw. Malik, do you ever think we'll ever see an end to a 24 karat gold? Oh, Evan Golden brings Jackson Black to the ground. That's right, and he does have a little assistance outside that he's, I'm sure he's gonna cash in on. That's right, right now he's got a handful of hair of the California dream. Black up in the corner. Ooh, and a chop! Oh, look out! The shirt's up over the head! Oh, and a big chop! They felt that one in Los Angeles. Evan Golden doesn't know where he is. Oh, he can see clearly now the T-shirt's gone. T-shirt to the outside. Black knees to the midsection. Back on the arm, oh! And eat defeat of sorts to the shoulder. And this is when Black really shines right here. He's really in control. Ooh, that's right. Oh, but that backfired right there. Miscommunication from Jackson Black. He had something planned and now he's on the, 
He's hung over the ropes, and Michael Gabriel gets some shots into the top of the cranium. Cranium, a word Evan Golden doesn't know. And now, pulling Black into this, there's a punch to the jaw, kick to the jaw. Not letting Jackson Black get any of this. And now Fisherman Suplex into the cover. One, two, and a kick out on the Fisherman's. And now Evan Golden immediately sending Black back over that bottom rope. And Michael Gabriel immediately back into the punches. Evan Golden does a great job at distracting referee Joe and Michael Gabriel. Do what he can to help it now. Drop toe hold. Drop toe hold. Evan Golden's on the bottom rope. Michael Gabriel not paying attention and finally sees that the Golden Child is now draped across the bottom rope. Is what is this? California Dreams got him. It's about to be a nightmare for Evan Golden. Oh, gosh. A neck breaker. That might be it. Across the knee of Jackson Black and the foot on the ropes. And now grabs the foot. There's two and a kick out again. With that ring awareness by the golden one, really paying off right now. That's right, of course. Oh, and back to his feet. Punch the midsection. Evan Golden playing play him possum. Drops him down for a face breaker. I don't know if he got all of it. Jackson Black is stunned as Evan to the second rope. Oh, he went for the golden hour, and he forgot the clocks went forward today. Yeah, nobody home. And a drop kick from the second rope by Jackson Black. Inside out. Inside out, upside down. All around. Up to his feet, and now Black pulled the leg up Perched to the up. second rope. What is this? Oh, and another basement drop kick this time off the second rope to a seated Evan Golden into the cover. That's one, that's two, and that was not three. Kick out at two and a half. Evan Golden still in this. We want to thank everybody again for joining us on the road to the 10th anniversary. Paul Morton Cup as Black's got him up. Evan Golden slides out like the worm he is. And now, got a waist lock in, but back on the arm, gets out of it, twists the arm around. Waist lock of his own from Jackson Black. Oh, he, oh. he tried. Tried to get a good kick, oh, and a low blow. Evan Golden had a hold of referee Joe. His view's not great as it is. It was even more distorted, and now afterburner. That, that's one, two, three. And who would have guessed, Evan Golden pulls out a win. And Black is 0 for 2 on his return back to SOM. Can't be a happy camper on this. That's right. Jackson Black comes up short. He had the match won. Evan Golden went below the belt and eats out a win with an afterburner. Brother Gabriel, Evan Golden, excited about this. 24 karat gold again, not going Evan Golden's way. Jackson Black, the match not going his way. California Dream, he's gonna have to keep dreaming on. Well, and, that turned into a nightmare there for him at the end. That's right, don't go anywhere because we heard from Hunter Wolf. Now, we're gonna hear from Amp Dominic. After winning America's East Tennessee Heavyweight Championship, I want to add some new wrestling moves to my arsenal, and I know a guy in San Antonio. It's the Sultan of Sexy here, the King of Connecticut, Matt Grenahan, and I understand that my former tag team partner in Damsel's Delight, Amp Dominic, is now the East Tennessee Heavyweight Champion. I want to congratulate you, brother. Laying those opponents down in the ring and laying them damsels down at night. Ooh, my, my. I got to get out there to San Antonio out here. It's quite the scene. Carrying on the tradition of Ricky Morton, my brother, Amp Dominic. Three, two, 33, one, one, zero. In my quest to find this forbidden, forgotten wrestling move, since the God of the Milky Way Galaxy. Downtown San Antonio. God of the Milky Way Galaxy. 
better believe it, baby. That's right, hold humans down and torture their insides, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's right. Down here in San Antonio. Yeah. Main event of the evening. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like I made it to the place. Texas Wrestling Academy. The God of the Milky Way Galaxy is gonna learn that thing he needs to learn. Baby, you are doing fine. Keep going. I don't care to talk to this man right here. There's only two people in the world that knows how to do a move that only Ricky Martin can do. I'm telling this man can do this move, and I've come to learn how to do it. Now pay attention now. This man, he knows okay, he got skills out there. He's Listen here, when entering someone else's yard, you never pick the biggest dog and put it down, you pick the mutt and make it look like a million bucks, you are welcome. If you want to know a secret, you better witness it in person. I'll see you at the show. Is that what Ab Dominic's like every every time? I'm yet to see him in person. I'm excited to see him come back. Oh, here. yes. We are getting ready for some more revolution action as one half of the gentle, extraordinary gentlemen's club uh, wait a minute. Clepier's on crutches. Yeah, he's got a flat tire, don't he? That's right. I knew Richard Dulé was going to be in action tonight, but what has happened to Clepier? Richard Dulé competing in singles action tonight, but Clepier going to be out here at ringside, it seems. Well, the family is definitely, especially this division right here, the family has been... Well, it's had better days. Let's just put it that way. That's right, of course. Judas being committed recently. Well, he was a little verbal the last time we saw him, but not much, right? We didn't get much out of him. That's right, but something we're going to get a lot out of tonight. Oh. Dusty Money. Dusty Money. We've seen him here before at SOM. And especially made the, his debut here at the Bunkhouse Stampede. But, but since then... Well, he's had quite the issues here at SOM. That's right. I expect big things out of Dusty Money. We're about to throw it up to Uncle Bob with some introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. In this corner, representing the extraordinary gentleman's club, Richard Dewey.
That's right, Richard Doulet with a little bit less hair than Dusty Money. If you've not seen these men wrestle before, this is going to be an exciting bout here at Revolution. Referee Joe calling the action here. And we're gonna have to wonder, I know that uh, Clepier on the outside, he may be a little bit torn from in-ring competition right now, but still at ringside, you have to th keep an eye on him. Oh, he's got those crutches and he could easily turn those into a weapon. If we know the family like we know the family. That's right, collar and elbow tie-up turns into a side oh, headlock, pulls him down. Looking to end this quickly if he can make Richard pass out here. Dulé had the hair for a second. Hands are off, referee Joe keeping his eyes close on this one. Both men back up to their feet. And Richard palms across the face hoping to add some separation and there was none. Well, Dusty he, Money. Go well, ahead. Well, Dusty's had, a, like we say, he's had some, you know, some, some challenges here at SM. His father turned his back on him here just recently. Literally let, just left him to the whoops. That's right. I, uh, I understand hard parenting, but I can't stand with that as Dusty Money now pushed up against the ropes and an elbow to the midsection from Dulé whips him across the ring. Oh, went for a clothesline. Dusty up, crucifix, but Dulé caught him. Oh, and there's the roll up. That's one and a kick out at one from one half of the Extraordinary Gentlemen's Club. And now, oh. backslide, one, two, and that one was a little bit closer. What's that, sweeps the leg, covers him again. Dusty Money trying to put Dulé away awful quickly. Dulé tried to sweep the leg. Ooh, rolled him up there. That's one, and again. Wow, we're having a little clinic here on how to pin a Dulé. That's right, well the thing about Dulé is he likes that slower style of match, he doesn't like Wrestling too quickly, one of the extraordinary gentlemen, he likes to have the match at his pace and Dusty Money trying to get it over with quickly. Well, he definitely hits a high road and he's definitely, like you said, slowing it down. That's right, looking for some guidance from his tag team partner there as Clepier providing some knowledge. Dulé looking to make his way back into the ring. Referee Jonies make sure Dusty Money can let that happen, hangs oh. him up on the top rope, does Dulé. And Dusty, I mean, obviously he's a, he's a one-man show tonight, so he's got the number game against him right from the beginning. That's right, but an arm drag sends Richard down to the ground. Referee Joe making sure that Dulé doesn't want to quit now, punching the upper arm and shoulder. Going to try to pull it out of socket, it looks like, and leg drop across the wrist. Back to the shoulder is Dusty Money. The crowd wants it one more time, and there it is, one more time. Well, that shows how much these fans really hate the family. I mean, anybody that goes against them, because they really didn't like Dusty Money the last time he was here. Hey, wait, Clepier, Clepier, wait. used one of the crutches to the kidney of Dusty Money, turned this match on its head as Richard Doulet Referee Joe wasn't looking, big uppercut. Sends Dusty Money to the ground. Uh, the fans are not upset. I mean, <laughs> that's an understatement. <laughs> As now choking him out on the second row. Uh, wait a minute, twofer? A sort of twofer now using the leverage of the crutch to choke out Dusty Money. Everything seems to be against Dusty Money here. Well, it makes you wonder how much how much Clepier is really actually hurt, you know, I mean. That's right, I'd love to know what happened. Big suplex and a kick out once. Hopefully once this is over, we can figure out what's going on. Clepier getting involved. Dusty Money up against the ropes. Dulé whips him, coming off. Sunset flip, Dulé's on his feet, oh. rolls back. That's one, that's two, and a kick out. Both men up, big clothesline. Massive oh, clothesline. And now, choking Dusty Money. Dusty's got the ropes. Dulé letting go. That's the nastiness that comes out, and it certainly does. The longer this match goes, the worse he gets. That's right, he's gotta make sure he doesn't get too arrogant as he dribbles the head of Dusty Money off the top rope, and another big uppercut in the corner. Whips Dusty Money across, Dusty hits the far corner. Here comes Dulé, a oh. running uppercut. That'll take anybody's head off. That's a trademark move here at SOM.
That's right, rolls him over. That could be it. That's one, that's two, and a kick out. Wait, it was called the Appalachian uppercut. Well, he's taking it back to the excellent uppercut. The excellent uppercut. Could not put Dusty Money is away as Dusty fires up again. Hits the ropes. Oh! Oh. I don't think he got all that clothesline, but he got enough as the stomps and the foot back across the throat of Dusty Money. He at least scalped him, didn't he? That's right. <laughs> And now gets him back up, maybe looking for that clothesline again. He is, and he ducks the clothesline, ducks the back elbow off the second rope, a flying back elbow sends Dulé to the ground. Both men trying to make it back up to their feet. Dusty Money in full control. Big splash in the corner. What is this? Dulé's down. Dusty Money rolls him. That's one, two, and another kick out. Oh! There you go, a jawbreaker using that bare skull of Dulé and a swinging neck breaker. This Since is when the, the desperation moves are definitely gonna start coming out now because that's, that's the Dooley way. That's right. Dusty Money, it seems like he's trying to get his wits back to him. Richard Dulé desperately trying to finish this match. Clepier's got his crutch in his hand. Maybe looking for something nefarious here. As on the far side of the ring, Dulé whips Dusty across. There goes Richard, whips him across. Oh, and it looks like the crutch did catch the toe. Oh. And a running knee to the side of the head. That's one, two, and Richard Dulé picks up the win. I was under a little uh, suspect uh, circumstances here, but a win is a win, and once again, the family, I, I hate to say this, but they're getting back on the same page. That's right. These two men, they are. Why are you out here on crutches? Okay, I guess it's not my business, but what just happened there in the ring? What, why did you have to bring in the crutches? What just happened? What just happened was Richard Dulé took out the trash. That's what just happened. But what everybody needs to know, and you look right here in my eyes, what everybody needs to know is the EGC is putting everybody on notice because we want our titles back. Chinese downhills? Back to you guys at the booth, EC. Every week on my new spin-off show, Dear Evan Golden, I take time out of my busy schedule to answer your most highly anticipated questions. I don't, I don't want to. But apparently I, I've pissed off Ricky Morton, but here I am. So let's, let's just get this over with, all right? Letter one. Dear Evan Golden, I am by far not, not your biggest fan, Mr. Gold Nugget. <laughs> Most of what you do makes no sense. You came to SOM and started harassing Blade Gibson, then stole, stole his title. But, and then you started making fun of Santiago, and after several attempts ending with your cheating, he was able to take the hybrid championship from you? But my question is this, did you even have any friends growing up? Perhaps you were homeschooled, I'm not sure. It seems to me that you have completely lost your way. God help us if you ever have children. Phil McCracken, what the hell is this crap? Surely you're not going to make me read this. What? And especially from someone by the name of Phil McCracken. I, I, I don't know if I have time for this. First of all, Phil, you're an idiot. All right? Just Let's just try another. I just, all I can do is fill time with this nonsense. So just... Letter number two. Dear Evan Golden, 
as an avid supporter. Well, this one is starting off better. I just have to know something. Why do you yell afterburner before you do your finishing move? Doesn't that give your opponents a heads up? Maybe if you didn't, you would win more matches? What do you think? Mary Simpleton. Well, Mary, I can't tell if, if you're making fun of me, if this is some kind of joke. All right, but, but, but here's the thing. When I yell afterburner, they can't hear me, okay? They're stunned. They're too, they're too defeated by the repercussions prior to the move. They can't hear me yelling, okay? And it gives my thousands of fans around the world to get the golden picture of me screaming the greatest finisher of all time, the afterburner, M Mary. What, what are you talking about? You, you can't be a supporter of Evan Golden and not support the afterburner, Mary. Just, you know what? You know what? You know what? For this week, I'm out of time, and I don't have time to read this nonsense, all right? And I dare someone else to send in a letter like this. I'm, I, I can't take this much longer. So you know what? You know what? Every week, I will maybe take time to do this. So send in your questions directly to the SOM Facebook page, and maybe if you're lucky, if you're appropriate, I will take time to answer them. So, just, this is stupid. You know. Brandon Moore, he has had his ups and downs here, but I do not envy him in this one, being in the ring with Sean Cruz, but who knows, this could mean big things for him going into the Paul Morton Cup if he can pick up a win over Cruz. Well, he definitely would help him with momentum, definitely going into the Cup, but that's a tough obstacle just to go around. That's right, as we await Sean Cruz here, Brandon Moore, I hope he's not going to get too cocky in this one. And there he is. Sean Cruz, sunglasses and all. This is gonna be a knockout, drag out brawl here and I am so excited as Oh, teasing Bobby Lee with the sunglasses. Brandon Moore has one heck of an obstacle in his way here as he takes on Sean Cruz. Let's throw it up to Uncle Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. And in this corner, making his SOM return from Fayetteville, North Carolina, the unfiltered one, Sean Cruz! <laughs> and his opponent from Newport, Tennessee, the prodigal son, Brandon Moore! <laughs> That's right, the young gun, the prodigal son, whatever you want to call him, Brandon Moore taking on Sean Cruz in this one. As Brandon Moore gets a let's go Brandon st chant started here oh, in the yeah. Jackie Dome. Rallying the troops here. That's right, Sean Cruz trying but failing to counter these chants here. Brandon Moore, let's see what this young gun can do here against Sean Cruz. Circling each other up, there's a collar and elbow tie up. Ooh, fighting for control here. That's why they call this the squared circle as they step around now, backing Brandon Moore up into a corner and rubbing the forearm disrespectfully across the jaw of Brandon oh, Moore. Oh yeah, a little paintbrush in there. A little, little friendly snub there. That's right, that's something that uh, you've known in your career, isn't it? Yeah, that's, a, that's not a good start when that's how we start. Um, that's right, Brandon uphill battle here is another collar and elbow tie up. Brandon gonna hope to get Sean Cruz into the corner there. Cruz hoping to get a big win. 
Upon his return to the Chucky Dome here, and now Cruz up into the ropes. Hey. That, little payback, huh? That's right, Brandon Moore with the aggression there. Sean Cruz with the ring awareness, knowing getting in between those ropes is gonna make referee Joe pull Brandon Moore across. And now sizing each other up again. There's a collar and elbow tie up again, and now a drop down pulls him across. Sean Cruz, I don't know what he's celebrating. Brandon Moore rolled right out of that. Yeah, Brandon's wondering the same thing. He's like, really? <laughs> We got a lot more to go. That's right, and again, we're back to square one. There's the tie up again. And now, this time, Brandon Moore spins Sean Cruz out. Sean Cruz, with a look on his face, I don't think he expected Brandon Moore to be at this tough of competition. I think he thought it was already gonna be over with, honestly, I thought, I thought you'd just walk in. You know, sometimes you, you have to do more than just show up. That's right, they were going for the tie up again, but Cruz with a knee to the midsection, clubs to the shoulder blades. Sean Cruz can't just collect a paycheck tonight. Oh, missed the clothesline. And a big clothesline from Brandon Moore, there's another one. Setting him up, what's this? Cruz goes into the corner, coming out, and a big back body drop. Sean Cruz severely underestimated Brandon Moore, and it is showing. Wow. Big clothesline, Whoa. back elbow, and sweeps the legs. Have a seat. I think we know what's coming. They're fired up. Oh, went for the double knees. Sean Cruz. Cruz. Cruz knew it too. And there's a side slam. Now this is one of those things is, why would you signal that you're going for the move? Gave Sean Cruz the opportunity to get out of the way as now lays a kick into the kidneys and stomps to the chest. That's what you call telegraphing a move. That's right, and when you're in there with a veteran like Sean Cruz, you cannot do that. No, no. Can't give him an inch. Sean Cruz mocking the let's go Brandon Chance. Something that you can hear no matter where you go. And a big suplex. Oh. That was tight. Oh, and a kick out at two. Basically dumped him on his head. That's right, well that's a big man to get up and over. It is. But Sean Cruz managed to swing the momentum quite literally in his favor with that one. Brandon Moore trying to fight back into it. Brandon Moore again trying to get back to his feet. He's up, hits the ropes, big back elbow. He's in Cruz control now for sure. That's right. Of course, one thing you'll have to look out for in this one. He likes to put people away with that famouser, but the infamous Sean Cruz likes to call it the infamouser. That's right. And now you have to think softening up the back so that way when he stands, he's bent over, ready for that infamouser. Basically kicked him in the, in the liver there, hit him in the kidneys. That's right, but now Brandon Moore, a kick gets Jeez. him back up and a clothesline sends him back down. Inside out. Sean Cruz, what's this? Oh, and a jumping leg drop across the throat of Brandon Moore. That was very crisp. That's very right. nice. That's right. Now into the cover from Cruz. That's one, that's two, and that's a kick out again. What is Sean Cruz going to have to do to keep Brandon Moore down? Of course, referee Joe making sure. Sean Cruz has the hair there. Pulling Brandon Moore back up. Close fist to the jaw. Oh, and an elbow stops the momentum again of Brandon Moore. Brandon Moore trying to make sure he's not bleeding. Elbow to the kidneys there. Off the ropes, look out, went for a double X. Got him, German suplex! Big German suplex, Cruz rolls into the corner. There we go, this is very devastating me, it's this. Looking for it again, there's the Ow. double knees! There's the double knees! He'll be seeing stars! Into the cover, that could be it, that's one, that's two, and Cruz kicks out this time. Now we see the desperation, but also the lower back of Brandon seems to be quite the issue right now. That's right, he's gonna have to be careful in this one. If he goes for any kind of move that involves lifting, that back could give out, and that's gonna be all Sean Cruz is gonna need to finish this off. <laughs> Went for a kick, spun around, and into the corner thanks to Sean Cruz. Forearm to the chest, big chop there. Chops again. 
There's the snapmare. Oh, and a spinning forearm right to the back. Oh. If he can keep targeting that back, that's all it's going to take to keep Brandon Moore down. Well, Cruz definitely wants to get a win here tonight. On, and it's not his debut, but it's his return here to SOM. That's right. Lots of great things happening on the way to the Paul Morton Cup. You never know who's going to show up as now he's got a dragon sleeper in. He was looking for cruise control. But now, there it is. There's the back. There's the back. The back gave out. Gave out. He's looking for it. This is it. Infamous, sir. That is it's it. It's over. You can count to 100. What a Sean great Cruz turn wins. here tonight. Sean Cruz picking up the win. That was what Brandon Moore needed to look out for. He had to watch the back. The back gave out. Hit the infamouser for the win. Welcome back to SOM Sean Cruz. Yes, sir. Fist in the air. Brandon Moore going to be feeling this one tomorrow. And it looks like Bobby Lee is going to have a word with Sean Cruz. SOM, you are back and looking stronger and better than ever. First of all, yeah, Sean Cruz is back. School of Morton, you're welcome. I'm the one talking here, not you. Second of all, yeah, you witnessed the change in me. See, the funny thing about change is this. Everybody thinks everything's got to change. Why do we have to evolve? Why can't things stay the way they are? I'm not going to change for anybody. See, the funny thing about change is this. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And Sean Cruz plans to do just that. Well, I don't think we're going to find out who's next for him, but I think he's going to show us. Back to you guys at the booth, EC. Sean Cruz, big return here at SOM, but... We are about to throw it to the back because I've got word that something is going down with Commodore Legion and Envy. You can't watch your eyes front. It's stuff like this that cost me that match with RT3. My socks not being in my gym bag. You bumping into me like this. You think that's okay? You've been married to me how long? You know better. You know better. You understand me? There ain't going to be much more of this. Look me in my eyes. There ain't going to be much more of this. If you keep messing up, you keep costing me. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. You know what I'm saying? A slip and fall, that kind of thing. Maybe I got to go find somebody to handle business appropriately. But while we stand here right now, why don't you do me a favor and <clears throat> pick it up. What? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Because you know. You know what's next to happen. Like that. That's disrespectful. The yeah, way that yeah. Commodore Legion has been treating Envy is unforgivable. Well, hey, if that's what we see, what happens when we're not around, yo? I mean, that really makes you wonder. That's right. Focus back. Here at Revolution, as Luke Fury makes his way to the ring. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking that's, forward to seeing this guy in action. That's right, another newcomer here at SOM. And, well, like a lot of the new folks that are coming up and, and the, the new ranks here, a lot of adversity coming up towards him, too. That's right, of course. Some of the veterans think that some of these new guys are being handed opportunities on a silver platter, but I assure you everyone here at SOM works for everything. 
And well, I am excited for this. Are you ready to go to a clinic? Because that's what's getting ready to happen. This young man up here is getting ready to have an experience like you can get nowhere else tonight. <laughs> that's right, Victor Andrews making his way to the ring. Look at the confidence of that man right there. This is one fun yet tough SOB. I love watching this guy. And Luke Curie, of course, like I was saying, people think they're being handed stuff on a silver platter. This is not something they serve you on a silver platter. This could almost be a punishment. That's right. And, you know, Mr. Andrews, he, he, he's definitely been on Monday night. I mean, if you've probably seen him in other places besides SOM, if you get my drift. I get you. Let's head up to Uncle Bob. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. In this corner, making his way back to SOM from Brooklyn, New York, Mr. Everything, Victor Andrews! <laughs> and his opponent, fighting out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, the Sauce Cutter, Luke! Fury! Big ovation for both men. <laughs> That's right. You got to give, you know, to Fury, you got to give him for heart. I mean, come on. I mean, he's got it. He knows what kind of challenge he has in front of him. That's right. He's got a whole lot of heart, but he's even got even more confidence stepping into the ring with Victor Andrews. And now respect shown from the veteran to the newcomer there. That's okay. what we like to see. That's why the best are right here at SOM here on Revolution. And there's the tie, oh, and a quick up and down. Body slam, didn't even follow him down, just threw him to the ground. And here's the lessons begin. <laughs> we talked about this right at the beginning. That's right. Those who compete here at SOM, they earn everything and Victor Andrews is gonna make sure that Luke Fury earns his stripes here tonight. Oh, big pickup drop down again, but this time, again, Victor Andrews is not leaving his feet. He's only <coughs> dropping Luke Fury to the ground, maybe teaching him the hard way. He definitely, every, uh, the School of Hard Knocks, this is a uh, 101 here tonight. But you know, uh, that's how you learn, right? I mean, life is all, all about success. There's a lot of failures to get to those successes, and you gotta learn how to deal with those to be successful. That's right, right now Luke Fury trying to figure out, getting out of that side, headlock whips him across, shoulder tackle sends Fury to the ground. And now Victor Andrews hey. looking for something there, slid out was Fury, hits the ropes, up and over. Oh, and a drop kick sends Victor Andrews to the ground. Luke Fury impressing now. Victor Andrews caught a little bit off guard, that kid's quick. The, the caught him off guard, and also, I'm uh, I, I gonna say he, he upset him too, because I mean, we could tell. That's right, single leg takedown there. A little bit more power in a lot of these moves. You're noticing the snap here. That's right, speaking like that. of snap, snap wow. suplex of sorts Woo. there. <laughs> Victor Andrews back in control of this one. And Luke Fury in a bad way, gut wrench. Stalling Gutridge, just holding him. Look at the power of that man, drops him down with a gut buster. Tough lessons learned here, right here, folks. I mean, we're watching the, 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 the passion play play out right here in front of us. This is uh, the old guard, the new guard, bringing it in. That's right, and a big hammering blow across the shoulder blades. You have to wonder here, will Luke Fury earn the respect of Victor Andrews? And another stalling. Gut wrench here, could be looking. Whoa, lifts him up big time now. Oh, and drops him down. Oh, that was big rough. Big side slam, felt most of that in his jaw, and a kick out, Luke Fury kicked out. That's amazing, that was amazing. But adrenaline is an amazing thing, you know that I mean, because right now, I think he's running on adrenaline more than anything. He's gotta be, that was a vicious looking move that there. That was rough. 
Victor Andrews setting him up in the corner and now forearms to the jaw of Luke Fury. Ooh, and a big uppercut, that moved the ring. Luke Fury trying to get away, but it's hard to get away inside those ropes as Victor Andrews now stalking his prey. Sets him up here, whips him into the far corner. Victor Andrews, oh, and a big clothesline sends Andrews to the ground. Another one, and a third. What fire. This is pure adrenaline, it has to be. Sending Victor Andrews across. Luke Fury, big body splash in the corner. Sets him up for the Bulldog. Huge Bulldog into the cover. This could do it. And a kick out from Victor Andrews. Now, slowing the pace down. That's right, that's right. He tried to go into that quick pace. He couldn't get the job done. Slowing the pace down now as Victor Andrews back to his feet. What is this? Could be setting up. Ooh, was trying for a suplex of sword. Ooh. Oh, and a big club across the back. Victor Andrews gonna show the young gun how it's done now. Lifts him up, big spine buster. About drove him through the canvas. And right back on his feet. That's right. Look at the intensity on Victor Andrews' face. He could be looking to put this away soon with the fallen angel stalking his prey here. Looking about like Squeaks the Clown at a buffet. Wow. He's ready to feast. He's hungry. He says, feed me. He's got him up on his shoulders. Luke Fury trying to battle out of this one. Slides down behind. Super kick. What? Big kick to the jaw. What? There's the cover. That's one. That's two. And another kick out. Yeah. Referee. Wow, Joe these fans are Cotton. shocked. I mean, you the see it. That's right, the fans even thought that was gonna be it. As Luke Fury looking for another sauce cutter. sauce cutter is what he calls it. Up to the second rope, went for the cutter, but caught. But he called it, that's where he messed up. That's right, we've talked about that. Into a tombstone position, tombstone pile that's driver. It, that's it, that's it. It's over. That's three. Welcome back, Victor Andrews. What a hard lesson to learn. But that's how you grow. Mr. They call him Mr. Everything for a reason because Luke Fury gave everything and Mr. Everything. Victor Andrews took it, ran with it, and picked up the win. He also sent a message back to everybody at SOM that he's back and he's here. That's right. It looks like we may be hearing from Mr. Everything. Victor Andrews, welcome back. It's been a long time. You look like you haven't missed a step, my man. When you have been, when you're Mr. Everything, you have to prove why you're Mr. Everything. Now, I've been gone for a very long time, but I've been keeping my eyes and my ears open on what's been going around, around this S-O-M. Well, what do you think about what's going on here at S-O-M? I want all of you to do me a favor. I want all of you to go to my TikTok, official underscore Mr. Everything. I want you to look at my workouts. I want you to see how I get busy in the gym. Because there's one man that's been going around saying that no one works harder than soup. And I'm here to tell you that Mr. Everything works harder than soup. Soup, I want to test your abilities. So I'm calling you out next week. You and I, for the very first time, one-on-one. -on -one. And let's see who works harder than who? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our main event anywhere in the world. Shoop versus Victor Andrews. Will Shoop accept that match? Back over to you guys. 
Mr. Everything calling out Shoop Woo. for a match on Uprising next week. What do you think about that? What do you think Shoop's going to accept it? We're going to see who's going to be working harder, aren't we? That's right. Of course, Shoop, Mr. Everything, Victor Andrews, next week on Uprising. But we're not done here at Revolution. No, we're not. We've got more action coming to you. And here comes one half of the SOM Tag Team Champions, Brother uh, Michael Gabriel. Been very instrumental as of late in the, uh, let's just say in all the affairs of uh, Gen 3. That's right, Gen 3 Express, Evan Golden accompanying Michael Gabriel. And you can see he's got that book of Gabriel, which we have recently been getting sermons on the mount and we also notice the elbow apparatus here that could or could not be loaded we don't know that's right the the questionable elbow what'd you say apparatus yeah the questionable elbow apparatus of evan golden as michael gabriel wants to go to the heights in this upcoming match Now the young man that's getting ready to come out has done with a lot of adversity here at SOM. That's and right. Feels like he can't get a fair shake no matter what he does. That's right. It, Blade Gibson, of course, still waiting on that one-on-one -on -one match with SOM champion Ghost. We thought he was gonna have it. That's right. He was attacked by Draco weeks ago. Scotty B tried to suspend Draco. Draco headbutt Scotty, Draco quits. We've not seen or heard from Draco since then. Blade Gibson wants this title shot, and he's gonna have to go through Michael Gabriel to get towards Ghost again. Let's throw it up to the ring. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. Fighting out of the commune of the guiding light, one half of the East Tennessee Tag Team Champions, Michael Gabriel! And his opponent, fighting out of Mountain City, Tennessee, the face of perfection, And there is no doubt who these fans are behind here at SOM Revolution. <laughs> Blade Gibson. Firm, that is right. The fans firmly behind him. And, of course, don't forget the 10th anniversary of SOM and the School of Morton, May 14th. And we are also on the road to the Paul Morton Cup, May 26th. We don't know who's going to be challenging for all the championships yet, but... We can only hope that Blade Gibson will get that one-on-one -on -one match with Ghost. We will find out, hopefully, sometime in the future as all the fans here at the Chucky Dome are behind Blade Gibson. There's the bell. So many things been going on here at SOM. And like I said, like, from the beginning to the end, I mean, we, Evan Golden's had quite the evening here so far. That's right, of course. Earlier in the night, 24 karat gold interrupted. Uh, with a little brawl, slaps and punches, turned into a match. Evan Golden picked up a win over Jackson Black as now Blade Gibson, Blade Gibson, Michael Gabriel saying Blade Gibson is scared and Blade Gibson, he doesn't look impressed at all. He looks, I have seen doorknobs that look more scared than Blade <laughs> Gibson right now. <laughs> yeah, he does, definitely doesn't look entertained or scared, does he? That's right. He looks slightly annoyed, and if I was if, if I was struggling to get that one-on-one -on -one match like he is, I'd be irritated as well. Deep arm drag sends Gabriel to the opposite side of the ring, and now Evan Golden scurrying. The only way I can put that scurrying to the other side. As now Blade Gibson takes a little rest. But that's where he's got to watch out because he's done this before. He's done some hot doggy moves like this and it's cost him. Yeah, it really has. So he's but, keep his eye on the ball for sure. He's definitely got it because he just shot Michael Gabriel off, hits the ropes, sling blade! Back up to his feet, 
There's a second rope and a springboard clothesline setting him up. Yoo-hoo, there's a knee to the chest. And that's it, he's taking out. Gabriel's gonna take the high road. That's right, he wants to go to the heights, but he just rolled to the out side of the ring. What is going on here? Blake Gibson, Blake Gibson setting something up. Oh! Blake they Gibson, flight. he likes to fly. That's why he's got all those frequent flyer miles. Takes out Evan Golden and Michael Gabriel. Gets Gabriel back into the ring. There's the cover, this could be it, one. Ooh, and there's a kick out. Well, and Gabriel's already, you can see all the effects of the match so far. I mean, he's being beat to a pulp. That's right. Now whipped into the corner. It's not gonna get any better with a forearm to the jaw. No, Blake Gibson is definitely getting his shots in tonight. Oh, and another one. He's gonna send Gabriel all the way around the ring. We're looking for a third forearm. Oh, and a big chop. Oh, that hurt me. Woo. Well, he says he's a ghost buster, a ghost hunter. Ooh, went up to the top right. Oh, oh, oh God. His Evan Golden, Evan Golden interfering. Blade Gibson's jaw bounced off the top of that turnbuckle, and now Michael Gabriel stopping a mud hole in Blade uh, this Gibson. This place is going bananas. Referee Joe should have rang the bell, and a big chop. This match continues. Michael Gabriel, Blade Gibson, his head bounced right off that top turnbuckle, and a big elbow drop. Blade Gibson about had this in the bag. Evan Golden grabbing the leg, costing Blade Gibson whatever he was going for up top, and now Michael Gabriel in firm control of this one. Referee Joe needs to keep his eyes on Evan Golden as now Michael Gabriel chokes Gibson out on the bottom rope. And again, what is this? Rubbing the knuckles across the forehead. Referee Joe, ref, throw him out, ref. Hey, wait, wait. Hey, oh, that's, that's it. it, that's it. He wasn't so sneaky on that one. You can't do it that many times. I mean, come on, once or twice, but every time, I mean, Joe's gonna see it. Let's hear what Bobby Lee's gotta say here. <laughs> it's gotta be a DQ, right? And here's your winner as a result of a disqualification, the face of perfection, Blade Gibson. As it should have been, perfect call. <laughs> perfect call by referee Joe, disqualification. And now this is disgusting. Michael Gabriel, Evan Golden beating down Blake Gibson. This isn't a match. What's going on? Get hey, control of this, ref. You're like hyenas out here. Wait a minute. What is this? Look at this! Look at Zach Thomas! Zach Thomas running off! Two thirds of Gen 3 Express to save Blake Gibson! Zach Thomas! He wasn't even dressed for a fight, ran out here to save his friend! Now they're scared. Now Gen 3 Express is scared. They don't want to get in there now that the numbers are even. They only fight whenever the numbers are in their favor, those cowards. They're gone, aren't they? They took off. And look at that. What's this here? That's well. right. Friends outside the ring and now friends in the ring, Zach Thomas. It looks like he's gonna have the back of Blade Gibson. Huh. Evan Golden causing the disqualification, but we are not done yet. No, we no, are no, not no. done yet. Because we still got a Main championship right. match. Santiago defends the hybrid championship against Sleazy Sean Carson. Up next. And it is time. Oh yeah. For our Revolution main event. 
There he is, the Aztec Jaguar Warrior, Santiago, your hybrid champion. Title around the neck. Of course, he has had some impressive title defenses. Uh, we got to see him oh, yes. take on Zach Thomas. And now he will be taking on sleazy Sean Carson. It's going to be his sleaziest competition yet, right? That's right. And we can, we can expect he's going to try to sleaze his way into a championship. I say it won't be like his last title defense where it was actually a, a friendly com you know, competition, but I think that's all going to go out the window here. That's right, because this man respects nobody. He is sleazy Sean Carson. He has a look of confidence on his face, but the thing is, is you can't underestimate Santiago. No. And there he is, showing off daddy's goods, as he calls oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's tax time, so he's ready for this time of year. That's right, of course. Santiago looking anything but impressed on the other side of the ring there. Throwing the bubble gum into the crowd as Bobby Lee is about to kick this one off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of the evening. And this is for the Hybrid Championship. Your challenger, fighting out of Greenville, Tennessee, Sleazy Sean Carson! And your champion, fighting out of Veracruz, Mexico, the Aztec Jaguar Warrior, Santiago. That's right, the crowd behind Santiago, but there is a section of sleaze balls here cheering for Sleazy Sean as referee Joe holds that beautiful hybrid championship above his head. One of these two men will walk out of here champion. <laughs> Well, we made it to the main event here. It's been a wild night so far. That's right. On the road to the Paul Morton Cup. That's right, the a, Bald Eagle. That's right. A great night it's been, and now a title match. Oh, what? and what was this? Ooh, looking for a wheelbarrow of sorts. Head scissors, sends Sleazy Sean into the rope, still on his feet. Santiago blocking, overhead chop to the chest. Now got the hand. Whoa. I know he wants to try to get that blood sacrifice probably pretty early in this if he's going to get it. That's right. Blood sacrifice is a big one to look out for. And big move. Launches himself over the top. Turns Sean Carson inside out. And there goes the lights. Oh, man. Taking out all of our equipment. That. And Uncle right. Bob didn't even move, did he? That's right, Uncle Bob. Slow on the reflexes, but you want to know he's not slow. Santiago as he gets back into the ring there. Somebody was DMing him on his phone. That's why he didn't move. <laughs> and now club to the back of the head. But Santiago whips him down oh, there. He just used his mask, didn't he? Just kind of. That's right. And another thing that referee Joe's going to have to keep an eye out for, not only making sure that Sean, uh, Sean Carson isn't pulling on the mask, but making sure he's not pulling on the hair that sticks out either as the champion is in a bad way here. Well, Carson will do anything and everything if he has a title around his waist. I know that's some ice he's been wanting for quite a while. Well, now snapping back on the wrist under the bottom rope, but I also tell you, stomping on him there. If Sean Carson wins this, we will not hear the end of it as he picks apart limb by limb Santiago and now slams the right arm down. Everything. Off the ropes he goes. Oh, and a knee to the side of the head. That's one, two, and we almost had a new champion. And now he's really taking Santiago off of his game. I mean, for one thing, he's not flying. When you're not flying, that's half of his repertoire. And a modified 
camel clutch here. Oh, he's it's, all tied up. Instead of the arms going up over the legs, they are tied up behind him, a handcuff. Camel clutch, we'll call it. That's right, he's sitting on top of his wrist. That's right, but Santiago's still got two feet, one of which makes it to the bottom rope. And now, got the arms and stomping in between the shoulder blades. <laughs> Sleazy Sean in control here. This is not good for the Aztec Jaguar Warrior. Oh, and a big suplex. There's the cover, one, two, and a kick out by the champion. Well, when you have the open challenge, things can happen. I mean, I mean, Carson was right there to put his name on the dotted line. That's right, Sean Carson not wanting to miss that opportunity, except now, Sean Carson wants me to tell everybody how great he is, but I refuse to play favorites. I like to call this down the middle. I am not taking orders from Sleazy Sean as he is back on Santiago. He actually wasted some time there, didn't he? That's right, Santiago now back up to his feet and a big Jaguar headbutt. And a clothesline sends the champ to the ground. Brutal. That's one, that's two, and another kick out. Like I said, we will be calling this straight down the middle just as referee Joe is. Thank you for joining us here at Revolution. This is your main event. Santiago hung up at the bottom rope and now Sleazy Sean trying to pull the mask off of the Aztec Jaguar Warrior. Yeah, I said he'll just take off if that happened. We probably wouldn't even see him anymore. That's right, Sleazy Sean now out to the apron, and a leg drop across the back of the neck, hangs him up on the bottom rope. Once again, turning his back, wasting time here on the outside. Sean Carson wants to be the hybrid champion. Back into the ring, he's gonna have to earn it. Santiago's not going to give him an inch. And now, squeezing the head, Hands clasped around the throat. Referee Joe making sure Santiago is not going to tap out here. Trying to get the crowd rallied up behind him. Sleazy Sean looking to become the new champion. Santiago looking to retain. <laughs> Santiago back up to his feet, elbow to the midsection. And again, trying to break the hold, gets out of it. There's another knee. What is this, and a kick. Sleazy Sean's back on his feet. Kick oh. to the knees, he's down. Hits the ropes, oh and an enziguri. That's one, two, ooh, and Sleazy Sean grabs the bottom rope, good ring awareness. That's right, and once again it paid off, but I think that was more of like we said, that, that desperation move, but it worked out just enough. Speaking of desperation, I am honestly shocked that we have not seen Sleazy Sean try to pull one of his dirty tricks out in this one. I will definitely commend him for keeping this match fair and square as Santiago goes to the second rope. And a big cross body sends him to the ground. That's one, two, oh, and he almost wow, that was it. I thought that was gone. I thought referee Joe's hand hit the ground. But I could have sworn I heard three. Well, Joe is definitely right on top of everything. The crowd here, firmly behind Santiago. They think he had it, but Sleazy Sean kicked out with a millisecond. <laughs> this is action you'll see only here at SOM. We have the best of the best of Santiago. He's setting him up. Got a hold of Sleazy Sean. We shall see. I think we may be looking for blood sacrifice here. What is this? Sean Carson. Carson's got a hold of the mask. Santiago is looking for blood sacrifice. Rips the mask off. The mask is off. Santiago's he mask is mask. off. Referee Joe getting the mask back. Santiago's been unmasked. Get him a towel, put the mask back on him. Come on, Joe. Sleazy Sean pulled the mask off of Santiago and a punt kick! No! A punt kick to Santiago! That's it, that's it, that's You're it. kidding me! Sleazy Sean's the champion! He amassed him and he beat him! Sean Carson wins! 
new hybrid champion. Wow, new hybrid champion. What an ending here. What a new chapter here for the hybrid championship. The sleazy era has begun. Couldn't win the damn title without ripping the mask off. Sean Carson's the hybrid champion. Junior, do you two realize what gets in my crawl? It's that feller, I guess you can call him that, there at Chucky at SOM, said he killed off the dooley. I got news for that feller. It ain't happening like he thinks it's going to happen, because eventually, one day, I'm going to drag my hind end up there, and I'm going to whoop somebody's hind end. Yeehaw!